Hello and welcome back everyone. It's great to have you back with us. Please make sure you have your board and your marker or your paper and your pencil ready. Okay? The very first thing we're going to do is we're going to keep counting by fives. If you remember, we're learning to count by fives because we need to use it to tell time and to count money. So, everyone ready? I'm going to give you 30 seconds to go ahead and get started, okay? On your mark, get set, go. You're going to count by fives all the way up to 100. If you're not finished, keep going. I'm not finished either. When we're done, we're going to count by fives all the way up to 100. The reason why we count out loud, even though you might be sitting at the computer by yourself, is because it helps our brain to remember it. Your brain will remember something a lot better if you can write it, see it, say it, and hear it. Okay? Here we go. We're going to start all the way back at five and count all the way up to a hundred. Let's go. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, sixty, sixty-five, seventy, seventy-five, eighty, eighty-five, ninety, ninety-five, one hundred. Nice job. Let's do it again. You ready? I'm going to do it now without pointing to the numbers. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Nice job, everybody. Go ahead and clear your board. And the next thing we're going to do is count backward from 20. We're learning to count backward from 20 because that's going to help us with our subtraction. Okay, I'm going to set my alarm. You go ahead and do it as quickly as you can. You're going to start at 20 and you go all the way back to zero. Okay, go. Time's up. I didn't even get finished. So if you didn't get finished, that's okay. Go ahead and finish up. And what we're going to do is we're going to count backwards from 20 out loud, okay? Don't forget, you need to count out loud with me so your brain can remember it better. Here we go. Let's start at 20. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Excellent. We're going to do it again one more time, but I'm not going to point to the numbers. Here we go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Excellent job, everybody. Go ahead and clear your board. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to write our two-digit numbers and we're going to do it in expanded form. Okay, so if you remember, we've been learning two forms, standard form and expanded form. Please write this number, 39, 39, 30, nine. This is in standard form because standard form is just the normal way we write numbers. Now remember, when we do expanded form, 
we're going to write all the number parts that we say. The very first number part we say is 30 because 30 is part of 39. So you write 30 and then you write 9 and then you put the plus sign in between it. We do that because this is the ones and there's nine ones and this is the tens. This is not a three. Because it's in the ten spot, it needs to have a zero behind it. Because three tens, ten, ten, ten. If we're adding three tens, it's ten, twenty, thirty. That's where we get the thirty from. Okay? So remember this top one where we just write the number is 39. This bottom one where we stretch out the number is the expanded form. That's what expand means. Expand means to pull apart or to make bigger. Okay, go ahead and clear your board. I'm going to go ahead and give you um, a few numbers. I want you to write them in, ex in standard form and expanded form. Here we go. Your next number is 74. 74. Your expanded form, 70 plus 4. Check your answer. How you doing? Your next number is 93. 93. 93. We're going to split that up. It's going to be 90 plus 3. Nice job. Your next one is going to be 48. 48. Forty plus eight. Nice job. Go ahead and clear your board. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write down three more numbers. I want you to read the numbers and then write them in expanded form. I'm not going to tell you what the number is. I am just going to write it. Say this number, write it in expanded form. Say this number, write it in expanded form. Say this number, write it in expanded form. Okay, here we go. This number right here is 51. 51. So we're going to put a 50 plus 1. This next one is 29. When you split that up, that's 20 plus 9. Our final number is 86. 80 plus 6. Nice job. Go ahead and clear your board. The next thing we're going to do is move into addition. But before we do, I'd like you to practice putting all the touch points on the numbers 1 through 9. So right now I'd like you to write out the numbers 1 to 9. And then we're going to put all the touch points on there. A lot of people will wonder, why are we putting dots all over numbers? That's because, if you remember, a lot of people don't have their facts memorized and so they drop their pen or their marker or their pencil and they count on their fingers and that takes a lot of extra time and your brain can only think of something only a few things at a time so what we're trying to do is make your adding and subtracting more efficient so help me put the dots on here the touch points here we go one 
one, two. One, two, three. Don't forget to count out loud with me. It will help your brain remember. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nice job. All right, I'm going to clear the board. Every day we're going to practice that for the next few lessons just until everybody feels really comfortable with their adding and subtracting with the touch points. I'm going to put up two addition problems. 37 plus 56 and the other one is 24 plus 93. Go ahead and copy both those down and I'm going to give you 30 seconds to finish them. Go ahead. All right, here we go. Over here, I'm going to circle my big number, which is 7, and then I'm going to touch it and say 7, and then count on the 6. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Remember, 13 is a two-digit number. So we're going to put the 3 here, and we're going to carry the 1. That's called regrouping or carrying, OK? Then we're going to circle the 5. We're going to do 5. Six, seven, eight, nine. Nice job. Now, I circled the five because that's the biggest number. Someone else might just circle the three because it's on top. It's not wrong to circle the three, but it's better to circle the bigger number when we get a subtraction. But can you add this this way? You can. You would just, instead of starting with five, you would start with three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You're still going to get the same number. So your answer is 93. Here we go. We're going to do this next one. We're going to circle the big number. Touch it, say four, five, six, seven. We do not have any number up here because seven is a one digit number. See the difference? This is 13. So we had a three here and the one here. But here we only have a seven, so it just goes down here. Next column, I'm circle the nine, nine, 10, 11. Our answer is 117. Nice job, everybody. The next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and do a few subtraction problems, okay? I'm gonna do the same thing where I'm gonna write them on the board, and then I'm gonna give you 30 seconds to do as many of it as you can, okay? All right, so you got 96 minus 56 and 79 minus 27. On your mark, get set, go. You have 30 seconds. Circle the big number and then remember, as you touch on the other number, you count backwards. You have about 10 seconds. Nice job. Remember, if you don't get it done within the time, that's okay. That's just to help keep us on track. Okay, for 96 minus 56, when 
we have two numbers the same, we're always going to circle the one on top. Six, we are not going to say seven. We're going to count backwards. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Six minus six is zero. Circle the nine. Count backwards. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Your answer is 40. Over here, we're going to circle the nine. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Here, we're going to circle the seven. Seven, six, five. Your answer is 52. Nice job. Go ahead and clear your board. Today, we're going to introduce a new topic. But before we do, I'm going to tie it back with something you already know. The most important thing about when you learn something new or learn something you don't know how to do, it's easier for your brain to remember if you connect it with something that your brain is already familiar with. So we just did a two digit plus a two digit number with regrouping or borrowing or carrying. There's a lot of different ways to put it, but regrouping is usually the most common way. Okay, now we're gonna break down this word, okay? This word group. Right here we have a whole bunch of dots. They're all over the place. If we're gonna put them in a group, we're gonna put them all together. That's what group means. You put a whole bunch of things all together, okay? This part right here, re. Re means again. I'm going to give you, this is a word part called a prefix, okay? There's lots of things that you guys uh, redo. So if you redo something, you do it again. If you repack your book bag, it means that you pack it up again. If you have to retest, you have to take the test again, okay? If you have to retie your shoe, it means you have to tie your shoe again. So whenever you hear re at the beginning of a word that has another word in it, that usually means again. So regrouping means to group again, okay? So right now we have 48 plus 12. These numbers are grouped. They're grouped in the ones and they're grouped in the tens, okay? To follow that, we're gonna group again. You're gonna circle the eight. We're gonna count eight, nine, 10. We have the number 10. The zero is here, but we're gonna regroup it. It was already put into a group. We're gonna regroup it over here with the tens column, okay? So we're gonna circle the number four, four, five, five, six, okay? So when you regroup, it means you group again. It means that you're gonna take whatever's extra in the ones column and put it over in the tens column to add it. That's what regrouping means. This, in addition, is usually very easy to remember. It's in subtraction that it's the issue. So, I'm gonna begin to teach you how to regroup in subtraction, okay? When we group again, regroup or regrouping, okay? All right, first we're gonna start off with 48 minus 13, okay? So when we do this, this is exactly how we did it before. You're gonna circle your big number, touch it, say eight, seven, six, five. Circle my four, four, three, 35. We did not have to do any regrouping, okay? We were able to subtract in this column, eight minus three. We were able to subtract in this column, four minus one. So the ones and the tens were fine. The problem becomes in subtraction, sometimes the biggest number is not on top. 
So we're going to switch this around and we're going to do 43 minus 15. You have to circle the biggest number. Which number is bigger, 3 or 5? Five? 5 is bigger. And this is the problem. If I have 3 and you need 5, I cannot do 3 minus 5. That is impossible. You can't do that. So this is where we need to regroup. We need to group again. Right now, 3 and 5 are in the same column. You cannot do 3 minus 5. So we somehow need to make this number, the 3, bigger. We do that by stealing from the column next to it. This is 10s. This is 1s. Right now, we have 1, 2, 3, 1s. What we're going to do is we're going to make this a 13. We did that because this is 40. If we take 110 away from 40, it becomes a 30. Okay? So this 3, this 4 becomes a 3. And the 1 we took from it is not a 1, it's a 10. So we're going to put a 10 stick next to it. So that we actually just drew a picture of 13, okay? So 4 becomes 3. It has to go down because the 3 has to go up. Now we have 13 minus 5, which is big enough. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Now we circle the big number here, 3, 2. This is how you regroup in subtraction. I know for some of you, you're looking at that thinking, that makes no sense whatsoever. I have no idea what you just did. And that's okay, because we're just going to introduce this a little bit at a time. Go ahead and clear your board. We're going to do one more problem together, okay? We're going to do 82 minus 46. I want you to circle your biggest number two or six. We're going to circle six. We cannot do two minus six because the big number is on the bottom. So we have to regroup. Put a one in front of the two. So now the two becomes a 12. We can't just put a one there. We have to take it from somewhere. We cross off the eight. The eight goes down by one to a seven. Now let's subtract 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Circle our biggest number here, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. There we go. There is no practice of this yet because we're going to take a few more days to practice it. You guys all have a good day. Thank you so much for your attention. I'll see you again soon.